Thank you so much. It really means a lot. It really does. Here's why I don't like the Chinese. Not some of them, all of them. I'm scared of the Chinese. I'm scared of the Chinese. And I know fear comes from ignorance, and I am ignorant of that culture. But I'll bet most of you are ignorant of the Chinese culture. Go to Chinatown, and go to a grocery store, and look at what they consider food. And you tell me you understand the Chinese. Bags of salted squirrel faces. Baby alligators, this big, this big. I've never seen an alligator this big. Not on the internet, not on Discovery, not in a museum. It's like they don't exist. Go to Chinatown, there's boxes filled with them with scoopers like you're getting gummy bears at the fair. There's always a fish tank out front with black water in it. You think nothing's in it. You come up, tap on the glass. Something comes up, spits at you, yells, and goes back down. Was that a fish or a man? Are they selling or does he work here? All right. All right. What other culture has buckets of live frogs out front of every storefront? Who? And not just the food store. The bank, the electronic store. Everyone in Chinatown is in the live frog business. Well, let's educate ourselves. Let's not be so ignorant. Let's learn a little bit. We'll take six, please. Give us six live frogs. They bag them up for you. You get them home to your place. What's your next move? How are you killing six live frogs on your own? Are you just going to get little pillows and put them over their face? Let it go, froggy. Let it go. I don't know. I don't have the answers. Who are you going to ask for answers in those stores? Who's there to help you in those stores? One 2,000-year-old woman sitting on a milk crate, chewing on a bat wing, a Bengal tiger in a hammock just swinging behind her eyeball on you the whole time. You go to the register, no people at the register, just cats, cats working the register. Smoking cigarettes, playing scratch-off lottery games, eating Fig Newtons with no labels on them. Scary, scary people. And we owe them $4 trillion.